All right, let's get started. So first thing I want to show today is essentially how to hook up two power supplies to one of these pin one boards. So in the typical setup, you're going to have a single power supply, 12 volt power supply, like I've got right here, running into this pin one board and providing it with power. Um, just something to note is this 12 volt power is only used to supply power to all the high power outputs. So the outputs along these outside edges here, it's not used to actually run this pin one board. This is going to get its power from the USB. Also all your button light outputs, if you were hooked up a button board to this, then those will also get powered from the USB. So all your five fold outputs are powered by the USB. But if you run into a scenario where you've got uh, maybe 12 volt toys hooked up to this, and you also want to have a 24 volt toys toy, for instance, like a knocker like this, uh, you could still do it with this board. A lot of times I'd recommend to get an expansion board because it just makes it a little bit easier to do. But in this case, you can actually do it on this board as well. So I'm going to show you how to do that. And so what I have is got my uh, 12 volt power supply currently hooked up in here. I also have power supply over here which I'm going to turn up to 24 volts to simulate a 24 volt power supply. Okay. And so we've got 24 volts coming off of these leads right now, right? And I've got to hook this up to this knocker to make it work. Something I've done um, prior to running this video is I very kind of hacked together a little diode in here. Typically, you'd want to solder this, but I didn't want to do it permanently, so I just kind of wrapped this diode. I stripped the wires a little bit and wrapped the diode in there. But the, you know, essentially what happens here is you've got the striped side of the diode connected to the positive terminal. If you can see that well, okay? So once I have that set up, I can move forward with this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hook this up. I already have it plugged in. The negative lead is is connected to one of my outputs here. And we'll say we'll put it on output. Let's see here. Well, it plugs in easier to number three here. And you can see these boards come off of here really easily. Okay, so you can just pull them off of the of the board. It's nice because they're replaceable. Um, and the only thing you need to do before you can actually uh, before you can run a second power supply to this is you need to determine which output you're going to run the power supply or the second output to. So I can test this really quick. I can go into my config tool, go to outputs, and then I see I've got it plugged in to output three. And I'm going to turn on output three. And I can see that the red light turns on for output three. So this is the MOSFET board that I want to run 24 volt output to my knocker on. So I'm going to select that one. So this is the one that I need to modify. I'm going to pull this out and I just need, once I pull this out, I need to clip this diode off that's right here. And I'll be right back. I got to get my clippers. All right. I got my snips here so if you look at uh, this is the diode on the chip I'm just gonna snip that off and you can even leave it you're just gonna tilt it up a little bit just so long as it's not making a physical connection and that way if in the future you need to reconnect it you can just pull it, push it back down and solder that back on that way it's still there for you in case you need it just be careful though because if it ever does touch uh, and you've got 24 volts going in there, you could damage your power supply or one of the power supplies by doing that. So you don't want to do that. <laughs> you don't ever want to let that touch. It's probably safest to just pull it off altogether and you can solder it back on in the future if you need to. I'm going to put that back in there now. So place it back in the board and then I'll turn that output on again. Make sure the red light's still turning on. You can see that red light turning on still, so my output's still good. And now I'm gonna to proceed to hook up my power supply. The way that I'm gonna do this, I have a negative lead coming from the power supply, so 
I'm going to connect the grounds of my power supplies together, like so. Okay, so now I've got my grounds connected together. And then my positives, I'm going to connect over here. Okay. Got my, so now I've got my positive lead from the power supply going into the toy instead of into here. And then my ground from the toy going to the negative input. So this is output, negative output number three on the board. And now I can turn that output on and you can see that my power supply over here is the one supplying the current to that. It's actually got current limited. Turn that up to get it all the way up to, uh, well, it's actually completely current limited to at five amps, but you still get the idea. <laughs> This uh, knocker now works from that output, and I can easily turn that on at any time. So, yeah, I'll turn it on one more time here. And you can see how it's triggered by the other power supply now. And we're running safely. There's no issues with, you know, voltage getting fed by one power supply or the other. They're isolated correctly, and everything works well. All right, so hopefully that helps you. If you ever need to hook up a second power supply, now you know how to do it.